Hello, so I figured I'd throw together this video uh, for any fellow musicians who use a DAW and have a touch bar, MacBook Pro, and don't necessarily know how to use Better Touch Tool. And so I'm just gonna walk you through how you would configure the touch bar area of Better Touch Tool to uh, fit your workflow inside of your DAW. So I'm using Bitwig Studio for this example, but this can really be applicable to any DAW because this is just going to take uh, assignable shortcuts from your DAW and put them into a button that is actionable on your touch bar. So when you launch that application, you are going to be able to make use of these buttons or these shortcuts. And you don't have to memorize the shortcuts, you can just instead, uh, you know, hopefully memorize the positioning of the button on the touch bar. It's a little bit difficult because it's just a strip uh, without really any tactile differentiation between the buttons. But anyways, yeah, this is how you'll be able to get those buttons on the bar and usable in your DAW. And so you're going to want to add your DAW first using the plus sign. That'll pull up a list of your applications. And so you just choose from any of your apps. Uh, again, I'm just selecting Bitwig here for the example. And once you've got the app selected, you'll head to the touch bar section of Better Touch Tool if you're not there already. And then you start adding buttons. And so the way you do that is you come down here, you click this little plus touch bar button. And so that's great, we've made a button. So what we do is we're going to name it first. And I suggest keeping the names relatively short if you want to create a lot of buttons. I don't know, if you just want like two or three buttons, then you can kind of name them whatever you want and have them take up you know, a bunch of space, a bunch of real estate on your touch bar. And so once you get that named, you'll come to the custom keyboard shortcut area and then you're just going to uh, enter the shortcut. And so, you know, for bouncing in place in Bitwig, it's Command B. And it's that simple. So now when I open up Bitwig, uh, I'm going to see this customized touch bar area and I will be able to make use of bouncing in place and I don't have to hit Command B, I get to just press the button. And you can get into some more uh, customization options if you wanted to add an icon or if you wanted to come in here. Uh, I've changed all of the free space to zero. So all my buttons are literally just like jammed in right next to each other. So I can fit as many as I want. Uh, you can change the color, you can change the placement um, and you can customize when they show up or in, and you can make it just the icon only without the text. And so if you had some tiny icons, um, you could even just not care about what you name the button and just leave it to, to icons on your touch bar, which you know might be a good route to go. Uh, if you have if you have icons represent your shortcuts or if you wanted to make some. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. It's pretty simple to set up and uh, it's it should be pretty powerful. Again, if you can make the touch bar kind of fit within your workflow and memorize the button location and not have to look down every time because that kind of takes away from the purpose of setting up uh, these buttons in the first place. So yeah, I hope this was informative and thank you for watching.